Hello everybody, this is a quick review of the new Lenovo 27 Q10 display. I have purchased this unit about uh, two weeks ago and I didn't find any real reviews uh, online so I want to share my thoughts uh, on this display. I had my uh, fears when purchasing it uh, since uh, the best uh, displays I worked uh, yet so far were Dell but uh, I told myself uh, Lenovo is a solid brand so I uh, probably can uh, trust it and uh, I decided to go ahead with it and my first impressions are that the unit uh, it looks fantastic you can see the borders are uh, are really seen the stand is uh, beautifully curved and it really plays uh, well along with my uh, uh, setup of uh, keyboard it looks beautiful on the table uh, this is a 1440p monitor so it has a 2k uh, resolution and the, the 27 inch of its size uh, really comes in handy you can have uh, uh, done stuff in uh, multiple uh, windows open simultaneously they're just not uh, getting too small and this uh, resolution is uh, right for this monitor because the stuff is not just too small so you can uh, barely touch it and or barely see it like uh, for example at work I have a Dell a 25 inch monitor with the same resolution so uh, the resolution uh, is really uh, a bit too high for the 25 inch monitor but on the 27 inch monitor like this one it looks uh, fantastic from the uh, back of the display we have two connection types we have a HDMI connection type and we have a DisplayPort connection type and one very nice feature since it's a Lenovo branded display and actually I have never seen this before it's using a standard Lenovo plug like you have in the, in the laptops so if you forgot your uh, laptop charger at work or with your friends and you just need to have a quick charge for it you can uh, disconnect the monitor and connect it so the bad side is that it doesn't have a adjustable pivot so the height of the unit it's not adjustable just the angle and the, i guess if you would like to while it have a, a severe uh, movement range you can really change the angle on this one uh, but if you would like to uh, have it higher or uh, lower this is not the monitor for you also it doesn't have the best amount so uh, actually what you would be able to use is just this stand to uh, mount it so if you want like to mount it on some arms that uh, wouldn't be an option another thing that i liked about it is the uh, hardware uh, uh, buttons uh, you know when you want just to change brightness I uh, me personally I don't like you know to a uh, mess with touch buttons on the display and the input change button it's hardware and it's one click it doesn't display like menus so what input would you like to choose etc so it's and you just press it and it instantly switches inputs to to uh, to an, to another source uh, so uh, that's pretty useful the motion on the display it's, uh, it's pretty smooth i don't think that the camera catch it catches it but you know with some displays you just can see on fast movement how the display uh, draw draws the lines and with this uh, display i didn't have uh, uh, noticed uh, that, uh, that issue uh, the color reproduction is very good since it's an uh, ips matrix 
and though I'm not a graphics professional, I know that I uh, definitely uh, enjoy the unit. So, uh, from my point of view, uh, let me summarize. Uh, the unit looks great. The display uh, design is uh, awesome. You know, uh, adjustable height uh, would be a nice feature. Uh, but uh, total in total, I'm uh, very pleased with the unit. Thank you for watching.